Hello, welcome to Kraftwerke. I have had uh, a few questions about how to load the um, patches onto onto the Valton 200. Now I don't know about the Valton 100, but I believe it's most likely going to be very similar. But with this one's focusing on the Valton 200. So what I've done is there's there's a couple of things on my website. You can download IRs, which are really good and very useful, and um, you can um, and you can also download some presets just for the fun of it. There's quite a few, but for this, there's just a week, quick show and tell how to load them on. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is um, get this going. This is the the software, and then you connect your Valaton to your PC, run the software, and to be fair. Anything that you do on the Valaton, which is kind of bigger moves, bigger sweeps, bigger kind of patches, setup and stuff like that, I honestly would suggest using the software because it makes life so much easier. Um, so what I've done here is previously I have created one and it is all the way down here and it is not there. So the first thing I want to show you is in this patch list here there's obviously all your patches and let me just turn the volume up a bit so it's easy to just jump through them these are mine just double click on them and they come up okay so anyway there's there's a couple here i might actually upload them because I think some of them are really working well. The only thing I'm going to add right at the beginning is the cab. Um, cab sims, they are obviously, you can match them to the to the amp that you're using, but I've actually uploaded my own. So I'm going to sh also show you how to upload um, IRs because these are for sale on my website, the mid, low mid grind, full body, sabbatical, the gentleman, etc. And these were actually designed for myself for some of my needs, but they work just as well in an Absom in a door as well as on the Valaton. And they actually, I prefer them. I kind of always use them now. So where do we start? So the patch that you download um, has this weird format. Uh, da, 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 da. So... It has this PRST format. It has to be in that format to be able to be, uh, to be used. So what we're going to do is we're going to load one up. The first thing to do is to actually select the patch that you want to upload it to. Because it you can you, obviously you can move it later. But if you use one of the pre-existing ones then it'll just overwrite that one. You'll see what happens. So let me click on 26A, right? Nothing there. So let's import. This is the we import button here. Just gives you a wee notification. Then you go um, to, this is the patch that I created for this video, a metal patch using the angle and I open it. And it says the selected patches will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to continue? This is why I'm saying choose the position that you want to upload it into or import it into because it's going to go straight in there. And you just press continue. There we are. Import success. Now that patch is loaded. Now you can't hear a thing because my pedal is depressed so I need to up the volume. Okay, so that's the patch in there. Okay, so that's the patch in. 
Um, what are we going to do next? What we're going to do next is you will notice that if you upload this patch and you don't have the IR, it's going to say, oh, it's going to use a different IR because you don't have a, um, the IR that's in the patches does not exist on yours. So um, at the top here, there's a low IR, um, load IR button. What you do is you go to your cab, you choose the, the place that you want to load it into, you click load IR, and then you go to the IR. Uh, let me just take the one. So this is the exactly the same as the sabbatical that's in the in the 2021 all you need pack. I just renamed it for so that I can show you how it comes in. I choose it and um, now it's asking me where I want to put it. This is important because I'm going to cancel this because now I don't know where it's going to go, right? So here we have the spots for all the different cabs. So that's the user IR open ones. So if I upload it, uh, import it, I have to choose an open one. Okay, so that'll be now the last one that's open or the first one in the list that's open. And I just load it. Success, right. So it did overwrite the first one already, so this is really annoying. This is the one thing that I think they fuck up a bit. Uh, I even made this mistake now. So um, you kind of have to keep memory of the patch numbers that are open after the original uh, um, IRs, because otherwise you overwrite them. See, because they it actually came in there and not in here. So you have to, so this would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to put it into eight. So if I load this IR, let's see if it happens if I put it into user eight. <laughs> yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's weird. Um, anyway, um, so I've actually fucked up position one there was something else in there I can't remember what it was probably not that important to me because I pretty much only use this laney one as well as the sabbatical um, and also the full body the reason I use the sabbatical it's like a an IR of mine that is like a modern take on the 70s um, black sabbath sound so if I choose the sabbatical Here it's really like this, it's a little bit funny. So what you do is you get the high cut in, bring the high cut all the way down to about 6,000, 7,000 hertz. The reason you do that is because speakers don't really go over that. Um, and then bring the bottom end, cut the bottom end. Of it. And then you usually have to amend the volume. That's the, that's the, uh, let me just show you the patch. I might actually put this on. If anybody wants this patch, say, say so down, uh, down at the bottom, I might make it available on the shop for free. Um, but I think this one this sounds really nice. So um, this is the Engel, what have we got? The Engel 120, some EQ on the way out, my IR. And then we can also boost it. So I've got the speakers, the monitoring turned really down just for the recording, so I can't really hear what I'm doing. Anyway, so there you are. So that's the easiest way. So you just uh, download the patch and the IR, know where it is in your file system. Um, up here, you go into load IR and up here, you go into import and export. And if you want to export your own, obviously it's just the simple, if I want to export this guy, I just click on the export button 
Um, yeah, let's save them. And then you just find out where you want to export them to. And it ends up in the in the list. Now you can obviously put things in like the author, um, the style, uh, and then make a few notes about it. And that is pretty much that. Thank you very much. Oh, PS. So down at the bottom, there's some links. If you want to support this channel, please like, subscribe, share. There's also, um, if you want to buy um, any of the IRs, the links are down below, any of our pedals. And also, um, I have an affiliate scheme with Donner. Um, they've got some great stuff. There's an affiliate scheme link there as well. So that is a good way to support. Thank you very much.